snowing again. Very snowy day. Well, this time of year, snowy every day. Just get everything cleaned up. All snow blowed, plowed, and then it snows again. Chevy Day. Yep. Nice little treat. 2007 Ford Focus. Story goes. Quit running. Loud noises in the engine. Well. I just put a $200 brand new battery in it. I just put an alternator in it. Very expensive to replace. It's brand new. Is that my fault? Not my fault. Buy cars complete. Everything's got to be there. So comes a time you got to cut your losses it becomes a, another broken dream but found a bill of sale in there and if it's true they they got the car for free kid drove it around um, over 300k on this focus I've never had one with that high miles I know that I don't know what this stupid engine is. Oh yeah. Boring. 2.0 liter. Two liters. Very uh, oily up here. It's already dead. What can I tell you? Can't start it up for you. But uh, I was, uh, you know, I often go on a, a page on Facebook there for guys that, you know, do what I do on a much higher scale or on a lower scale, you know, uh, talk about uh, catalytic converters and uh, prices on them and stuff like that. And uh, I always see guys always complain they want to know how to get these converters off these uh, focuses because unlike some cars they got the exhaust comes out the back the intakes on the front so makes it a little more difficult to uh, to get the manifold cat off but I was just uh, I was just doing this one, you know, the thing about working for yourself is there's no time crunch. I mean, yeah, I want to turn and burn and get my money for it, but take your time and uh, make a couple extra dollars by, you know, taking the converters off um, rather than leaving it on and getting a, a complete car price. I mean, that's how my guy works anywhere I know I know it's different a lot of different places but they always say you know how what's the best way and of course the guys with the big junkyards and stuff you know they got big yard they got a loader and they just rip it apart and rip the engine out and there's you know but 
the guy like me, I just got a garage, I just push it off the trailer and uh, bring it inside. And I mean, if you look, you got to think about this. The car is junk anyway, so you got to break stuff and cut stuff and to get out of your way. So my, my old boss, I worked at a repair shop for a while. And, you know, when you first get into a job, you look at it, and it, it looks really difficult. You, you just say, I, I don't even want to do it, you know. But he taught me that once you get stuff out of your way, it, become, it, it becomes to look a lot easier and uh, not be that bad. But, of course, on a customer's car, you wouldn't be able to uh, rip and tear you know, because uh, obviously you can't break the stuff, but um, it's a junk car. The thing doesn't run. It's going. And it's going to be squashed. And uh, so you just sort of get stuff out of the way, you know. Here's a stupid, you know, uh, heat tube coming off the exhaust manifold. It's right in the way. Two seconds. Cut it with the Sawzall. Turn it like this. Get it out of your way. Of course, I've already done a lot of the work here but you know this is a 2007 it's not a 1942 you know I mean there are 13 millimeter nuts that hold the manifold on and uh, they come right off you know most of them without a problem I mean a 3H ratchet should come right off and uh, you know you, you break your uh, heat shield away take off a few bolts, you start cutting, you start ripping, you start prying with the pry bar and uh, you know you can't go underneath because it's got a cross member there and the way it's set up some of them you can but it's not really that bad I mean you start taking it out and stuff's gonna grab you and get in your way and those two sensors are gonna catch the fuel lines and just, just rip it out don't matter it's all junk what do we do we took out the fuel regulator it looks like the lines some wires some stuff broken you know doesn't matter it's all junk then you got you got your money right there you know might make a, an extra 50, you might make an extra 400, you never know. You gotta wait and see, but... And then what they call your uh, downstream is right there. That of course sits underneath. Some cars have them, some cars don't. This one's set up with the manifold cat. And uh, one down there. This obviously not as much money as the manifold one. Seven twenty two, so pretty much brand new battery. Give you a little closer look. There's that alternator. Not very easy to do. Of course, a lot easier now without the manifold in there, but you can see, uh, let's see here. There's come right out no problem just unbolt it oh, early in the morning I uh, always did I always sneezed a little bit in the morning get a little stuffy I don't know why but 
sorry about that but there's a bracket there that wraps around the, the cat itself and uh, you just just nip it with the sawzall and break it and pry it and bend it out of the way just get everything right out of your way and uh, you can see the steering rack and cross member and everything's right there so you can't drop it down underneath but uh, there you go guys were saying it was impossible you had to unbolt the engine and pull it forward and pull it out and bust the firewall and do all sorts of stuff but it's uh not that bad to just unbolt it and take it out anyway some i've had to actually loosen up on some cars loosen the motor mount hook here hook it to the winch or a vehicle or something and uh just pull that forward a couple inches and then you can get it out of there but a lot of trash that's for sure but that's to be expected see that's what's left of the heat shield it's made of crap it's all rotted break that thing get it out of your way don't need it kittery trading post Ooh. Laffy Taffy, got that Laffy Taffy, oh yeah, Wendy's, Monster, Joys of Coloring, nice, what's that, Review Activity, F. Yep. That popped out on uh, my way home. I guess it was just sitting in there. <laughs> Strong wires. Always find at least some kind of fluids whether it be coolant or oil oh, what do I see premium performance 520 she's full they needed a mouthful oh fork Oh, manifold bolts. Someone threw those in there. There's a glove that's seen some work. Ridge cut. Walmart bag. Those are worth money. Can't get a shopping bag anymore. They don't give you the plastic bags. You gotta pay for it. Paper. Good. Flesh colored Sharpie. Wait a second. What's this? Amongst the Laffy Taffy. Ooh. We got some brand new ravioli, boys. You left all this? Ravioli. Another one? Oh, wow. Three Chef Boyardees. And a whole bunch of Laffy Taffy. Frankenstein. Looks like we're eating good tonight, boys.
keep going. This car ain't looking so bad. Five cents, five cents, five cents, five cents, five cents, five cents. A lot of money in there. What the? Dollar Tree power steering fluid. I recognize that. Service Pro. It's brand new. Why not? Stop smoking patch. Oh, they didn't finish their Kit Kats. Look at that. Oh, aftermarket cruise control there. Huh. Didn't see that before. See, I don't, I don't buy many fluids anymore. This is all stuff I find in the cars. All kinds of random oils and sprays and gallon of tranny fluid. Antifreeze, antifreeze. I'm surprised this car doesn't have antifreeze in there because every single car it seems like I find at least a half gallon or a full gallon. So, why not? You put it on the shelf, and uh, you don't have to buy it. I mean, it's, it's fried chicken. I mean, who, who doesn't like fried chicken? You know, I mean, brand new tire? Yeah. Trailblazer. Just a brand new tire sitting in the back. I put it online, nobody wants to buy it. It's brand new. I don't know. I don't know why. What do we got? Water. Pokemon Adventures. 14 bucks they paid for that book. Reusable bag. Holy pops. That's uh coastal, that's auto zone, I believe. Empty. They bought, they bought some brand new in the plastic brake rotors, all rusted. Still use them. There's the other. Oof. Money down the drain. And there you go. Heads. R1 Concepts. Stopping the world. Those look like rear. Those are small pads look like for the rear. Oh, the spare. <laughs> the spare. It's got air in it. A oh, little mouthful of washer fluid, just a little bit, but every little bit kelp helps, 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 kelp. Not much good.
So there's the oil tank for the garage furnace. The only thing I don't like is uh, no gauge. So you don't know what you got. Be really nice if uh, if you could get a gauge for these, but right now I just gotta take this out, look in there with the light, see what you got. Oh, well, I can hear it. I can hear it coming out. Move the snow, clear the snow, snow blow, plow, snow. But a little surprise on this Friday night in the middle of January, you're not going to believe what someone wants to buy. secret stash of stuff. <clears throat> a few months ago I got these, uh, I don't know if I ever showed these on a video, but they're brand new Koenig wheels uh, and brand new hand cooked tires from a Mustang. And uh, 23550 18s uh, story goes I was at a uh, local shop in town where I'm friends with the guy long story short customer of his guy that's got a lot of money he's got a newer Mustang not sure what year it is I don't pay attention to Mustangs but it's relatively new one anyway uh, the new body style and uh he bought these and he maybe had them on the car for a couple of months drove it around a little bit decided he wanted chrome wheels didn't want these ones which are charcoal with a metallic finish beautiful wheels really uh i that guy at the shop, he uh, he owed him, the guy owed him some money for some work, and he bartered these, so he ended up with them, and he's got a Mustang, older body style. He put them on, he didn't like the way they looked on his, so then they were sitting there, and then we did a deal and some bartering, and he owed me some money. So he said, hey, you have good luck selling stuff. Why don't you take those? And uh, the value of the trade was only a couple hundred bucks. Uh, these were, I mean, well over a thousand when the guy bought them. I don't know how much exactly, but um, so I ended up with them. I put them on Marketplace and... Uh, no bites really few people interested but now in the middle of january in the freezing cold and the snow someone wants to come look at him he wants to buy him yep messaged me uh, a couple weeks ago wanted some measurements so i took some measurements for him some back spacing, you know, stuff like that. And uh, he said, yeah, I'm pretty interested. I'd like to come see him. So he's on his way. So 
Nice little surprise. I got them on there. I put them on there for 700. You know, let people talk me down. Little does the guy know, he could get a pretty good deal on these tonight. Because I'm in the mood to sell them. I mean, I'll take any any offer, really. Don't really stand me much. And uh, it's the middle of winter. Bills to pay. Heating's expensive. Electricity is expensive. Bills are high. So, he makes a decent offer. He's going to walk away. Or walk away to the streets. Well, if you heard that, that was an Infinity G37X. 37? 36? I don't know. I forget what it said. But look. Gone. guy says, I'm going to put him on my Infinity G37X. You said you wanted 700. I'm like, yeah. He's like, any way you would take 650? I was like, uh, yeah, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, hundred, six, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Cash money, unexpected. Middle of January, freezing cold. Say hustle. Celebrate. I wish you could play music on here because I'd be celebrating. Look, I don't have to eat the Chef Boyardee tonight. Oh no, we're eating good tonight, boys. 650. Not even going on a Mustang. Going on Infinity. Race car. Cheers. On to the next hustle. Till next time. See you on the streets, and you know that I will one day. Oh, victory.